Welcome to this video guys. In this video, we will assemble this robotic arm. So let's begin. Click on this file, click on open. And here we have already worked on it. We have made this robotic arm assembly. We have assembled the base, the first link and the second link. I will provide the link of that video in the description so you don't miss that out. And I will provide the link of whole playlist 14-15 videos of modeling and assembly as well. So if you want to model it, you can model it. Here, insert this component guys. This is the link 3 as we have already assembled link 1 and 2. This is the link 3 that we are going to assemble right now. You can rotate it from here just like I have rotated and some orientation you like. Click on mate and here anything by chance is selected just click and delete it because i want this shaft of the link 2 selected and bore of link 3 is selected because they are gonna get assembled you can either flip it here if they are not in the proper orientation and then just rotate it back and this face and this face should be selected this should be mated so click on mate Again, anything else by chance is selected, you can click and delete it. Else, these two faces should be selected. This one and this one. These two faces should be selected. Any other thing is selected, you can delete it. Okay, so now this link 3 is assembled as one here, you can see. Okay, now click on this insert component and click on browse. And from here, we have made this link 4. Again, I can provide the link of whole this video in the uh, playlist in the description you can watch and model these things okay so now click on mate and here select the shaft and the bore and here you, you can clearly see this is not the proper orientation so you can flip it from here this is the option for the flip and check this from here and now we have to assemble the faces so click on mate and here this face and this face should be assembled like this check this box from here and let me show how it's gonna move it's gonna rotate right guys this was the link 4 so we, has, we have assembled link 3 and link 4 now insert component and this time i'm inserting the first part of the gripper gripper one and gripper two i have already made the video on these as well i will provide the link in description from here you can rotate it at some right orientation click on mate and pay attention now guys because we are going to work with the advanced width mate this is the width mate where we have two windows we have to select four faces first face and opposite face of this one right guys so we have selected these two faces one and two and in our next window we have to select these two faces one and two so in width mid we select four faces and they're gonna get aligned now select this board and uh, this shaft and um, let me go to the standard mate and here this is the concentric so when i select this concentric it's gonna assemble properly and here we have the gripper part one assembled as you can see this is uh, this has the thickness should be increased so open file from here this is a part file guys and now select this boss extrude go to edit feature and here we need to increase this thickness let's specify 25 press ctrl s button or you can go to file and click on save and then simply cross this button from here and here we have it so this looks fine now guys and it would only have a rotation like this so now it's time to assemble the gripper 2 so this is the gripper part 2 just click here and now you can rotate it to position properly to orient at right orientation you like and now guys select this bore 
click on mate and select this bore or hole this is assembled and now we have to align it and guys we're gonna use the same width mate that is inside the advanced mate we're gonna use this width mate two faces of this one and in this window two internal faces one and two four faces should be selected click ok or cross it from here as you can see we have to reduce the thickness of this one so click here and open part file the very first option and here we have to reduce it so right click here the first boss extrude click on edit features and here specify 10 rather than 18 press ctrl s button save it from here and cross this window and here you can see this is now perfect you can either refine it further it's up to you and now let's open another part and that is the same gripper part too because it's gonna assemble on the other side as well you can rotate it from here at some right orientation and click on mate we're gonna repeat the same process with mate one two and these two internal faces one two this is aligned we do not need to make the width shorter for this one because this is already uh, get shortened and as you can see guys the whole assembly is complete for this robotic arm and let me copy uh, the let me copy the color from here and it's an optional step you can assign any color you like just double tap here and double tap at the gripper one part and I want to assign some other direction to the gripper part 2 and from here I have to go to painted and this is optional stuff by the way uh, you can assign any color you like so that's all for this video guys if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching